putting the patient in a position where, or building the, the entire course of care around the patient. So taking a bottom-up approach, if you would, rather than a top-down approach where... So what is the best way or the best ways to engage patients and increase their active involvement or participation in their own care? We know from the research that active participation in patients uh, yields better outcomes than passive, you know, being, them being passive recipients of their care, right? So how do we get them to that stage? Well, in my mind, there's really two ways to do it. The first way uh, or the first step in that is increasing or improving access. So whether this be using some kind of platform or patient portal, something that allows more of a direct communication between clinician and patient and vice versa, patient to clinician. Um, so this could be something like asynchronous uh, video communication. It could be something like secure chat messaging or secure emails or something like that, secure texting. Something that just improves the flow of communication between the patient and the clinician so that there feels like there's an actual relationship there. You know, it's not like I'm calling the main office and then getting this giant phone tree, press one here, press two here, press you know seven, wait 10 minutes, leave a message on a voicemail, and then you know hopefully you'll call me back in a couple hours, um, as opposed to just being able to shoot a message into a portal. Even if that's being managed by a nurse or a support staff, somebody that's kind of screening and triaging these messages that they're coming in and then getting them to the clinician, the ability to kind of bypass some of that um, bureaucratic mess, if you would, of a phone tree or something, um, really goes a long way in making patients feel um, connected and really develop a relationship with that organization and with that clinician. And that translates into improved uh, active engagement or participation in their care. And the second piece is um, using a little bit of empathy, use a little bit of active listening. I talk about this in the book a little bit, Better Outcomes, A Guide to Humanizing Healthcare. But the idea is putting the patient in a position where, or building the, the entire course of care around the patient. So taking a bottom-up approach, if you would, rather than a top-down approach, where we start with the patient, we start with their unique circumstances, we start with what's important to them, and then we build the plan of care around them. So we're getting from the patient what their goals are, what they hope to receive out of care, um, what the current limitations are, if there are any, or why they're even seeking care in the first place, what are their aspirations for a year down the road, two years down the road, whatever it tends to be, because those types of questions at the forefront, one gives you, the clinician and the organization, kind of an understanding of where this patient is at, kind of what their ideas are around care, what their goals and their aspirations are. Um, and then it helps the patient feel that one, they're being listened to, which makes them buy into the treatment plan more, um, which makes them want to be more active participants. Then they're going to contribute more to the the plan of care discussions. Um, so those would be the two ways, increasing access, whether that be through some sort of portal or, or tech software, um, really just improving communication, the line of communication. And then the other side is starting from like a bottom up approach where we're building the plan of care around the individual rather than starting with the diagnosis and building, building it around that and kind of fitting the patient into that kind of framework. Oh.